This is Spirit and Life, a time of the Word, a time of healing, a time of deliverance, a time of transformation. I am Bishop Ayo Otunwayo, President of Victory International Ministries and Presiding Bishop of Chapel of Victory International Churches. Yesterday, I told you that victory comes to those who are strong in the Lord and who are strong in the power of his mind. It comes to those who turn away from trusting themselves or trusting men into trusting the Lord for everything. God will overturn for you as you trust him completely during these difficult seasons. He will make a way for you. He will open doors for you. He will send helpers to you in the name of Jesus. Today, my short message to you is titled, They Shall Proceed No Further. I'm here to declare to everything that has been withstanding you and frustrating you, and I declare that they shall proceed no further. I declare that sickness tormenting you shall proceed no further. The destruction of failure in your life, in your business, shall proceed no further. I come as the servant of the Lord, and by the authority that is in the name of Jesus, I declare that every negative thing that is stopping you from celebration, that is stopping you from moving forward with your life, whatever it is that is hindering you during this season, I declare to them they will proceed no further. I want us to read from 2 Timothy chapter 3 and read verse 8 and verse 9. 2 Timothy 3, 8 and 9. It says, Now as Genesis and Jambres withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds, reprobates concerning the faith, but they shall proceed no further, for their folly shall be manifest unto them, as theirs also was. From this scripture, we are told, we are given the picture of two of the magicians that withstood Moses, Jennings and Jambres. They withstood him when God sent him to Egypt to deliver the children of Israel from Egypt. They use their magic to bring counterfeit miracles. But Moses, he used God's word, the rod which he held represented the word of God, and he used the authority of the word of God to overthrow them. He overthrew them by the rod. He overthrew them by the instruction of God's word. They could no longer proceed. They tried all their best until they could proceed no further. That's why today, whatever powers, magical powers, evil powers, are withstanding you from fulfilling God's purpose for your life, from moving to the next phase of your life, whatever you know is, is tormenting you during this period, I declare by the authority of the word of God, they will proceed no further. You are going to break through into the next season of your life in the name of Jesus. By the authority of the word of God, I declare that no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. I declare that all wicked forces against you, they will proceed no further in the name of Jesus. By the authority of the name of Jesus, the name that is above every name, I declare that every deception from the pit of hell, from darkness that have been set against you to deceive you, 
they will not proceed any longer in your life in the name of Jesus. In this passage, Apostle Paul was also deal, you know, talking about you know, forces that withstand children of God. He was talking about people that resist the truth. He was dealing with people of corrupt minds, agents of darkness, who work to turn believers out of the way. He commanded them to cease and to proceed no further. That's why I have also come today as God's apostle. And I speak to all powers, all forces that are resisting you, that are trying to move you away from the path of God. Everything opposing your progress, everything withstanding, withstanding God's plan for your life. I declare they shall proceed no further in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now I'm going to take you to Acts of the Apostles chapter 28, uh, verse 3 and verse 5. Uh, this is the story where Apostle Paul and the people that were going, being taken to Rome, they had a shipwreck. And they landed on an island and were told in verse 3, that when Paul had gathered a bundle of sticks and had laid them on the fire, there came a viper out of the heat and fasting on his hand. Apostle Paul was trying to make fire so that you know they could they could you know drive the heat because they were cold, there was cold in that place. And they wanted to take some heat from the fire. And a viper, a venomous snake, fasting on his hand. And verse 5 says, And he shook off the beast into the fire and felt no harm. Hear me, that snake was a plot of Satan to kill him. It was a plot of Satan to stop him from getting to Rome, getting to his destination. It wanted to stop him. So, but Paul stopped it. It proceeded no further. Paul shook off that beast into the fire. That is why I'm here today and I declare every plot of Satan to stop divine purpose for your life shall proceed no further. Every beast that is planted to harm you shall fail and shall proceed no further. You shall not be hurt, neither shall you die. You will pass through this season with testimonies. No evil formed against you will prosper in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Finally, let me round up by highlighting two important keys that Moses and Paul used in stopping the enemy and the enemy could not proceed further. Number one, they used the power of the word. They spoke the word of God to the enemy. They stopped the enemy from proceeding further. So you can speak the word to any situation and as you speak the word, every enemy against you will proceed no further. Number two, key that they use is their faith. They acted in faith, believing and trusting the Lord. Paul did not act in fear, but shook the beast into the fire. Moses was not afraid of the things that the magicians were doing, but confronted it by faith, believing that God's word would come to pass, and it came to pass. Therefore, in this season, I want you to speak the word of God to every situation, I want you to stand in faith and act in faith. And God is going to give you victory. Whatever the enemy is putting against you right now, I declare he shall proceed no further in the name of Jesus. You will go through this season and break through into testimony in the name of Jesus. Coronavirus shall proceed no, no further. Infection shall proceed no further. Sickness shall proceed no further. You will come out victorious in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want you to believe God for your testimony. This video, I want you to like it. I want you to subscribe to it. I want you to send it to your friends. And I want you to have the expectation that everything that has been stopped in your life is stopped forever. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Amen.